Nail Kurt, the CEO of FNSS. Uh, the main activities in the region of FNSS has been very intense uh, since the establishment of the company back uh, 30 years back. Uh, we have achieved uh, significant uh, sales in the region, mainly in Malaysia to start with. Early 2000s, we signed the uh, Adnan contract, uh, delivered tracked vehicles of 15 ton class, uh, followed by another batch of Adnans, indeed another two batch of Adnans, and finally we signed the uh, 8x8 uh, Gampita program under the leadership of DEFTEC, our local uh, partner here in Malaysia. Well, we showed in uh, IDEF in Turkey, uh, this is uh, basically a lighter version of Pars family. We call it uh, Pars Scout. You see here the 6x6 version. There is also an 8x8 version of it. Uh, it is made specifically for the Turkish requirement, uh, which is under uh, tender now. Uh, and we are close to finalization, I believe, in Turkey. Uh, it is called Special Purpose Vehicles. It is around uh, different uh, versions of uh, reconnaissance vehicles. It is not any different from the main parts configuration other than it is a, a bit lighter and simpler version uh, but in terms of uh, work, carry, uh, work uh, load capacity uh, it is also as capable as parts and uh, it gives some being light gives some additional features and you compromise with some additional armor of course uh, but uh, for the basic needs of the user we have now a different version that we can offer so uh, when it is a uh, compromise between different uh, tactical needs Overall, there are 12 different variants uh, and I must say Malaysian Army is very clever uh, defining the variants that they need. So it comes as a complete package uh, defined at the beginning of the contract. So there are no uh, gaps uh, later on in the requirement range. And uh, here you see three different variants. Uh, the old variants uh, serve for uh, infantry as well as cavalry. Uh, among the uh, variants there are 30 mm uh, two-man turreted versions, 25 mm one-man turreted versions, uh, command post, uh, ambulances, recovery vehicles, uh, what have you. I mean, as I said, there are plenty of different configurations, all defined together with the end user to the uh, exact needs of the user. Uh, for the final contracts, it's 255 vehicles. And uh, most of those vehicles are being produced in Malaysia at DevTech facilities. Uh, and we are under this contract, we are cooperating with DevTech. Uh, there is a technology transfer involved. Uh, some of the production has been transferred to DevTech, uh, PECAM facilities and the, also the selling rights, some IP rights of the vehicles have been transferred to DevTech uh, given certain uh, export markets uh, and uh, the Gampita name has made it uh, finally uh, a real uh, Malaysian vehicles. FNSS has been uh, working on both tracked and wheeled vehicles and we have uh, different contracts signed with a variety of countries for both uh, vehicle types. And here we uh, wanted to just show the other range of products. Mainly our products range from uh, 15 to uh, 35, even 40 tons in some contracts now. And uh, evidence of those are shown here. Uh, one of the new ones you see on my left is uh, the uh, new uh, generation uh, tracked vehicle. This is a we, this is what we call Kaplan 20. It's basically a 24 vehicle, a 24 tons tracked vehicle. Uh, there is also a 30 ton version in the works uh, at FNSS now. So we will be able to demonstrate it next time, hopefully. Uh, at the back, further back, you see Pars 4x4. 
which is also under contract with the Turkish uh, MOD. Uh, it is a uh, weapon carrier's vehicle for uh, carrying uh, anti-tank uh, weaponry. Uh, the third one is the amphibious assault bridge, uh, which was delivered to uh, Turkish army. And this is another specialty vehicle that we had managed to design and produce and deliver uh, to the Turkish army. And there is significant uh, attention uh, in the region also for that vehicle. So in f two countries, we are promoting uh, that vehicle now. And further back, you see the uh, medium weight tank. It's another very uh, interesting and uh, challenging program. Uh, it is under the Turkish and the Indonesian MOD uh, cooperation, under the Defense Cooperation Agreement. So it's a G2G deal basically, but we are cooperating with PT Pindat Company of Indonesia as FNSS. It is a co-development program uh, for the requirements of Indonesia and hopefully in the future uh, Turkey that the prototype has been uh, produced, two prototypes. Uh, it is about to start testing, qualification testing in Indonesia, including the mine tests and everything. And we hope there is going to be a significant interest in the region uh, about that product. It is a different and interesting business model. We started this as a G2G. Uh, co-development program based on the requirements of the Indonesian army. Uh, FNSS partnered with PT Pindat, uh, the local company uh, in, in Indonesia. And uh, later our MOU with PT Pindat was escalated to MOD level and under the Turkish-Indonesian uh, in the military uh, cooperation agreement, this has become a co-development program and uh, it was financed uh, for three years by both uh, countries. And finally, uh, we, and we came up with this prototype. Uh, the chassis has been produced, the first one in uh, Turkey, FNSS, and the second one in Indonesia. The two prototypes are ready to uh, qualification uh, tests in Indonesia, and it will be starting very soon. Uh, I must say that uh, the development included the chassis uh, based on the uh, requirements of the CMI 105 turret. So we haven't developed uh, a new turret for this case. Uh, it is the CMI turret. It was the choice of the Indonesian armed forces.